Hi, this is Crystal Alves Tuzum from crystalnikiko.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a magic birthday card um, using acetate or um, the little sheet that your pearls and embellishments come on. It's super easy, and let's try it out. So this um, sheet of pearls, it comes on a clear sheet of acetate, um, as normally you guys see, and I've cut it out at the same um, dimensions as a white sheet of paper, which is Whisper White. And I cut that at two and three quarters by three and a half inches. And then with my cake stamp here from the um, Happy Moments stamp set from Celebration catalog, uh, the clear mount stamps, um, I'm using the little cake here. And I don't know why I'm using the stamp in the jig. Um, it's a clear <laughs> stamp, so you don't really need it, but um, you will need it for the acetate because you want to make sure, um, just like right here, I place the acetate on top, the clear sheet of paper, and um, you want to make sure it goes right on top of the white sheet. And here is, is the stays on ink I used. I didn't show you in the video by accident, but um, you want to make sure you use stays on ink because then um, regular ink won't um, stay on to the acetate. It'll just wipe right off. And when you're using your stays on ink, you want to uh, make sure that you don't, if you have a Stampin' Scrub pad, you don't want to clean your stamps in there because it is permanent ink and it will ruin your, stamp, your uh, stamp cleaner. So what you do is you just get your stays on uh, cleaner and um, spray it all, uh, wipe it all over the stamp, and then take a, a wet wipe or a baby wipe and just clean it off the uh, rubber itself. Super easy. And then um, here I'm using my markers, uh, my Bermuda Bay marker, which is the blue, and then my rose red marker because we'll be using rose red uh, cardstock later. And then I'm just applying some uh, glitter that I just bought at Michael's with my coupon. I never buy anything there <laughs> at full price. I <clears throat> just want to make it look a little more like frosting. I know there are some other cool techniques out there to um, make cool frosting. I, th I think I saw somebody do something with glue, which I might show you um, another day, but this was um, easier for me to do right now. And I thought I should mention I have all my supplies in my car right now, so I'm kind of um, using whatever I have on hand. All my bone folders and my inks are in my car. So here, this is the stamp set from The Occasions Mini. This is the Hostess Level 1. That's currently out right now. And I'm um, coloring it with the same colors, Bermuda Bay and Rose Red. These clear stamps are so much better. I don't think I could ever go back to wood mount. They're so great. Not having to use the, the stamp and the jig is very nice. Just so simple like that. Look how cute that is. And then I'm just punching out one circle out of the one inch circle punch and Bermuda Bay paper. And we're just going to set it aside to dry because of the glitter. And then with the same stamp set, the Happy Moments, I'm just taking the flower with Versamark and I'm just applying it all over the back here just for some added um, fun. And um, with the same stamp set, I just stamped three bird cages on uh, this white sheet of paper, and then I punched out uh, a border punch, uh, all from Stampin' Up. This the same paper is uh, Bermuda Bay and Whisper White, and those dimensions are um, eight and a half inches by one and a half inches. And that rose red cardstock is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. Then I'm sticking it in, pl oh, sticking it, placing it in my um, cutter here. And I'm scoring it at two inches on both sides. First, I want to flip it over and score it that way because that's the way we want it to fold. And I don't have my phone folder on me. I told you everything's in the car. So I'm using my ruler right now to um, make a crisp, clean edge. You know, whatever you have on hand. Then this sheet of paper um, is four inches by seven inches, and then I'm using the w word window punch, and I'm just cutting out a slit here on the very top. I want to leave about um, half an inch from the side. And as you can see, I'm, oh, I'm not cutting out the entire tag. I'm only placing it like halfway through, and I didn't think it was um, completely perfect there, so I'm just punching it out again. And this is going to be the little slit where we place our um, stamped image into. It's going to be so cute. And then that punch out that we punched out earlier, we're folding it in half and applying some adhesive to it. And we're placing the acetate um, sheet on top, making sure it's perfectly lined up and putting the circle on top here and then punching it out with the crocodile. 
that you just saw. And then with my ribbon, I'm folding it in half here, and because the area, the hole is so small, I'm folding it in half on the top again, just so I can try to easily um, weave it through that little hole. Then I make a little loop, I place the ends of the ribbon through the hoop, and then I pull it tightly um, to get a cute little knot there. And you just keep pulling, playing with it, and then I'm just going to snip off the edges uh, with my scissors. And then you see here I'm going to place the white um, stamped image that we stamped earlier inside the um, slit and I'm going to make sure the acetate part is on the front part of the um, slit. Then this scrap piece of paper I'm just applying to the back. Um, I made sure that the it, it's, it can be ha about half an inch and just a, the same um, length as the uh, folded in, uh, white cardstock here. This is going to act as a stopper so the when you pull out the card you it does not um, come out of the hole and then you see there I had the cake on top and I punched out one and three quarter inch circle and I placed it on top to just to try to get an idea as where I was going to place it and I'm just tracing it around with a pencil and then I'm taking my one and three quarter inch punch and I'm going to just punch out um, the area that I had traced then with my eraser I'm just going to erase any images um, any pencil marks I have around the hole then I'm taking my cake um, piece that's going to be pulled out and I'm just gluing it to the back here <clears throat> as you can see um, where the marks are. Now I glued, as I'm putting glue on the edges here, you can see that I'm applying it a little too high. And then I'm going to take my glue eraser and I'm going to erase off about um, half an inch off the top because I don't want to um, glue the tag that wants to come out from the center as you see there. I don't want to glue that down so you don't want to put adhesive to the very very top of that rose red sheet of paper. And I'm just folding it over here, perfect making sure it's nice and um, attached, glued together. And then I'm taking my ruler and I'm just going to mark three dots. You could totally eyeball this, but um, I get a little um, <laughs> picky and sometimes I become a perfectionist. Not all the time, but these random days. And um, I'm just marking down exactly the exact measurements as to where I want to punch out um, holes for my brads. I'm just placing uh, three rhinestone brads in here from Stampin' Up! And then I'm just going to uh, punch out the holes here. Perfect. I'm just placing in those brads there. This is going to keep the bottom portion of the card um, together. And it just adds a little more fun. I'm just folding them um, over the back here and making sure that they're all facing the same way, as you can see. And then I'm taking my white gel pen uh, from Stampin' Up! And I'm just kind of um, doodling around the circle here. I was looking at it and I thought, mm, it needs a little something. That's always me. I'm always tending um, to add more embellishments or something to a page or to a card or to any project. Ask Akiko. She's always saying, slow down on the embellishments or try to do something without any embellishments. But I think that's just in my personality. So I'm just doodling around here. This is such a fun card to give to anybody, but really. It's, it's this card I made for um, an 11-year-old, but it's still cute to give to anybody. Then, look how cute that is. It's magic. <laughs> and there you have it. You've got your magic card that you can give to anybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you next week. And uh, come check me out on my blog. I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Bye.